We begin our journey of discovery in Tasmania, the biggest island state of Australia. Tasmania is known as one of the world's most ancient lands. A place with great contrast with rugged mountain ranges, lagoons, and rivers flowing in all directions to the sea and the home of an incredible fauna and flora. Dolerite formations provide evidence of its Antarctic origins millions of years ago. The Bay of Fires on the northwest, with its stunning blue water, red rocks, white beaches and fishing lagoons have something for everyone visiting Tasmania. The Freycinet Peninsula is surprisingly beautiful, with spectacular panoramas and abundant wildlife. Immense granite mountains are surrounded by azure bays with sandy or rocky beaches. The outstanding peaks of the hazards welcome you as you enter the park. The best and most obliged site to visit is Honeymoon Bay. Behind the hazards, on the east side, lies the outstanding Wineglass Bay. The rugged coast of the Tasman Peninsula has some of the most impressive coastal scenery in Australia, eroded by the waves of the South Seas. A landmark not to miss is the Tasman Arch, what is left of an old sea cave. The tessellated pavement, an intertidal rock platform with a tiled appearance, a remnant of the violent past, Mount Field is the second oldest of Australia's national parks. Enormous fern forests and some of the tallest trees in the world can be found in this area. Stanley is a peaceful fishing village on the west coast, famous for its volcanic plug named the Nut. Standing at nearly 150 meters, the Nut offers spectacular views of the town and the coastline. Some kilometers away is Dip Falls, a three-tiered waterfall that can be admired from top to bottom. From the biggest island, we jump to the third largest, Kangaroo Island in South Australia. Our first iconic destination, Seal Bay. The stunning views of the Australian sea lion colony and the neighbouring coastline are what makes Seal Bay an essential experience for visitors to the island. One can walk among the third largest colony of Australia sea lions, here in spring, basking in the sun, fishing, feeding the pups and just relaxing. There are strict rules regarding walking slowly. Remarkable rocks are one of South Australia's most famous geological features. The shapes, position of the rocks, directions, the placement on a promontory seems at first look the creation of an abstractionist sculpturist, a very skilled one, that did his most amazing piece of art. But after a while, you realize that no one's mind is possible to conceive such an intricate map of wonders and that it is simply nature in action, the continuous process erosion of the granite massive rocks. The Twelve Apostles are located on the Great Ocean Road, on the southwest of Victoria. A collection of Miocene limestone rock stacks jutting from the water in Port Campbell National Park. Wild and powerful waves of the Southern Ocean constantly pound the coastline, breaking these stacks from the coastline, producing the landscape you see today. 
Sunrise and sunset offer particularly impressive views. This landmark is at the center of one of the most spectacular stretches of coastline in the world. North is the Triplet Falls, one of the most spectacular waterfalls in the Great Otway Park and is located at the end of a stunning one-hour loop walk through ancient rainforest. Nearby is Hopetown Falls with a first view near the car park and an astounding image after a good number of steps down its base. Now we jump to New South Wales, one hour west of Sydney in the Blue Mountains, being the most iconic site of the Three Sisters, a jagged rock formation with the valleys of the Blue Mountains as a picturesque backdrop. According to local Aboriginal legend, Three Sisters were turned into stone to protect them from impending harm. Some 100 km to the west of the mountains lies Canangra Boyd National Park, Take in the magnificent scenery before walking down to one of the park's waterfalls. The Canangra falls down into the gorge. On the foothills of the west are located the Jenilan Caves, the most ancient discovered open caves in the world. They include numerous marine fossils and the calcite formations, sometimes pure white, are noted for their beauty. The cave network is very large following the course of a subterranean section of the Jenilan River, with over 40 kilometers of multi-level passages, more than 300 entrances, and the complex is still undergoing active exploration. The caves are a popular tourist destination, with 11 show caves accessible to paying visitors and well lit. Cascading 50 meters into the valley, the Carrington Falls is a plunge waterfall across the Kangaroo River, located in the Southern Highlands region of New South Wales. Belmore Falls features two free falls of the Barangari Creek, totaling more than a 100 meters drop from the escarpment, deep into the valley below. The border between New South Wales and Queensland houses a chain of mountains formed by volcanic activity. Huge granite walls, lush rain and cloud forests are the home for numerous wildlife and plants dating to its Gondwanaland past. These plateaus have numerous geological faults. Gorges and valleys were carved among the granite layers by hundreds of waterfalls emerging from tumbling creeks a never-ending symphony of beauty and power of nature.
70 kilometers north of Brisbane is the Glasshouse Mountains. These 11 hills are the innards of 11 ancient volcanoes, lava plugs that solidified while the outer crust eroded. Going north to tropical Queensland, in Garingan National Park lies Wallaman Falls, the highest, permanent, single-drop waterfall in Australia. Wallaman Magnificent Falls and the National Park are protected under UNESCO World Heritage Wet Tropics in the northern region of Queensland. Nikmaluk, located in rugged outback country, with deep rainforests, rocky cliffs and escarpments, and the water habitat of unique birds and animals. The gorges were carved by the Catherine River. Nikmaluk means cicada dreaming, which figures prominently in Jawoin cultural history. A tumbling cascading river, impossible to navigate during the rainy season, transforms into the actual slow running stream on the dry season, allowing a pleasant stroll along its trajectory. Uluru, also known as Ayers Rock, is the iconic image of the outback and looms large over the flat, red, Spartan iron oxide landscape. Forty kilometres west, 36 domed monoliths break the central Australian landscape again. Known as Kata Chuta to the local Anangu Aboriginal people, they have a special relationship with the rocks that date back 22,000 years. People come to Australia especially to cuddle a koala in any of the sanctuaries around the country. The koala is even being used as an international political ambassador. The truth, however, is that it is endangered in many areas and the attempts to relocate individuals have ended with the destruction of the forests of eucalyptus and many diseases. As all native animals except monotremes, the koala is a marsupial, who survives with a diet exclusively of eucalyptus leaves, very little nutritious, poisonous to some degree, that makes him sleep most of the day if he is not eating. The Tasmanian Devil, an unfortunate name to depict this incredible animal, is the world's largest carnivorous marsupial, reaching 76 centimeters in length and weighing up to 12 kilograms. Devils are solitary and normally nocturnal, spending their days alone in hollow logs, caves, or burrows, and emerging at night to feed. Tasmanian devils have a notoriously cantankerous disposition and will fly into a maniacal rage when threatened by a predator, fighting for a mate, or defending a meal. Once abundant throughout Australia, Tasmanian devils are now indigenous only to the island state of Tasmania. The platypus is one of the most unusual creatures in the animal kingdom. It did not have the urge to evolve more from its ancestors. They have a paddle-shaped tail like a beaver, a sleek, furry body like an otter and a flat bill and webbed feet like a duck. A typical platypus is near 40 centimeters from its head to the end of its rump. An individual weighs around 1.5 kilograms, though platypuses that live in colder climates are bigger than those living in warmer areas. Platypuses live only in Australia, from far north Queensland to Victoria on the Great Dividing Range, being Tasmania the place where they are more abundant. 
Being blind, they hunt for small invertebrates in streams or pools using special electrical receptors on their bills. Normally hunt at dawn or dusk, but without predators around it can be seen at any hour of the day. The short-beaked echidna measures 30 to 45 centimeters long and can weigh between 2 and 5 kilogram. Echidnas are monotremes as well as the platypus, mammals that lay eggs. Consuming small invertebrates, the echidna is specially adapted to hunt its prey. It has a pointy snout that can sense electrical signals from insect bodies. Once it detects its prey, if not catchable at once, the echidna uses its claws and shorts to dig into the soil and expose the invertebrates. Then it licks them up with its long sticky tongue, as anteaters of the new world do. The common wombat is the largest burrowing marsupial with about a meter in length. Its solitary and normally nocturnal nature makes the wombat a rare sight for people in the wild, although in Kangaroo Valley, New South Wales, it can be seen foraging day and night long. Resembling a small bear, the common wombat has coarse, bristle-like fur that ranges in color from sandy hues to darker browns and blacks. The front teeth grow constantly, as it occurs with some placental mammals, the rodents. The dingo is legendary as Australia's wild dog, though it also occurs in Southeast Asia. The Australian animals may be descendants of Asian dingoes that were introduced to the continent some 3,000 to 4,000 years ago. Saving the best for last. There are 48 species of macropods, kangaroos, in Australia, with a total population estimated around 60 million. Having evolved in the driest continent in the world, kangaroos use minimal energy to look for resources. The hopping strategy is the less energy consumption of all, allowing them to travel for very long distances in search of food. The biggest of all is the red kangaroo, populating the outback, deserts and open grasslands, when standing up can be taller than a man and might reach 90 kg. The eastern grey kangaroo is the second largest and heaviest living marsupial inhabiting southern and eastern Australia, referred to as the forest kangaroo. The western grey kangaroo inhabits the south and the west. There are subspecies of the grey adapted to other regions, as in Tasmania and Kangaroo Island. 
Wallaby is a common word to describe medium-sized macropods, smaller than big kangaroos. They must rely on the protective shelter of habitats with dense undergrowth. There are a bunch of them. The agile wallaby. The brush-tailed rock wallaby. The northern nail-tail wallaby. The palmer wallaby. The red-necked wallaby. The swamp wallaby. The whiptail wallaby. The yellowfoot rock wallaby. The tamer wallaby with its joy. Then there are smaller ones, named Pedemelin. The red-necked Pedemelin. The Tasmanian Pedemelin. A quokka. We cannot finish without including a few more iconic animals, the saltwater crocodile, the biggest in the world, the monitor lizard, another giant the emu, together with the kangaroo in the coat of arms, the southern cassowary and the laughing kookaburra, the spirit of Australia, a wake-up call to your fires of passion in an Aboriginal dreamtime myth.